as you can see here we got a uh, nice trailer load of stuff got a cab got a bed got a Cervini's hood there paint looks a lot better this time around than it did the last time hopefully it uh, will hold up really well definitely looks a lot better so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing unloaded here and uh, hopefully we'll have a truck soon So we got the cab back here today. We have some other stuff. We left it in the trailer though, because we wanted to uh, make sure that we had enough room for everything here. Color's very similar to what it was when it left, but uh, this time we're doing base coat clear, which is great. I think it looks a heck of a lot better than that uh, urethane enamel, but. Opinions vary. <laughs> but we've got doors on it this time. So we're going to do something a little bit different this time. We're going to try and pick this up with the doors on it and set it on the truck. Obviously, we're going to do our normal uh, firewall install of everything. You know, we're going to put our heater boxes in and everything, get as much on the firewall as we possibly can uh, just to facilitate some use in getting everything all done there. Try to uh, make sure we make the best use of our time here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start throwing some stuff on this cab here and hopefully get it put on the truck.
All right, well, you can see we did a little bit of a time lapse here. We got the firewall all put together. Once again, you know, we're recapping here. We got the uh, dum dum around the heater pipes there, and we got the outside heater box on, and all this is still attached here. We got the heat shield on here. Uh, still need to put the map sensor on over here. Wiper linkage and wiper is all installed. We got the brake booster installed, uh, the clutch uh, cover assembly here, the seal for the steering shaft. And then on the inside here, we have the firewall pad put on, the brake pedals installed, and the inside heater box is installed over here. Uh, we still have, you know, the other stuff that we did in previous parts of this video that's already been done in here. Uh, we didn't remove any of the sound deadening, obviously. And then we still have a, we have the set of fenders in here as well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this thing ready to roll here. We got the frame uncovered over here. We're going to roll it forward and we're going to get this cab set off of this dolly up in the air and pick it up with the doors on it and get it set down on its frame over here. So that's our goal here. Uh, once we get it set down on there, we're gonna be go ahead and uh, put the body mounts on, get them all tightened down, make sure that those are good. And then at that step, we're probably gonna go ahead and throw the bed on next because we wanna make sure that the body lines are gonna be matched up in case we have to do any shimming. It's a lot easier to shim everything up while everything's lighter. So that'll be our next step. Your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. I use them all to push me to my best. So treat the worst of times just like a test. If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I will get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless
All right, so we got the cab set on here, and it uh, went pretty smooth. Just me and Brent this time around, and we still didn't bolt it down yet. But we're going to go ahead and uh, unstrap the doors here so we can get them opened up, get the bolts put in here, get it bolted down, get all the grommets put in, and then uh, hopefully we'll be able to throw the uh, bed on it here tonight too as well, try to get that done. So you can see here we got it. It's very, very out of whack, but we stayed on this side so we didn't hit the filler necks. Uh, we didn't want to scratch the inside of the bed up. So we're going to just go ahead and kind of pick this thing up by hand and just push it across. Uh, there's some stuff in the bed here. We might have to take it out, and but it shouldn't be too, too bad.
So we got it pretty close here and being lined up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we are, have a set of Dorman bolts we're going to be putting in. Uh, we have to put the frame clips on, but I wasn't sure of where the actual bed was going to sit. So I wanted to set it down and make sure that we put the clips in the right place so we weren't removing them and putting them on and everything like that. So we're going to go ahead and get this bed bolted down and we're going to be using a Super Duty style bed bolts. So they have the clips that go in the frame and then bolts that bolt down through the top instead of using the OBS style, which is a carriage type. So we're going to go ahead and get this bed bolted down and uh, we'll check out our alignment here. Looks like the alignment isn't too, too bad. Probably have to raise the bed up maybe a quarter of an inch, which is not surprising given the uh, s and reputation here. Uh, last truck we did was uh, a little bit high on the cab, so shimming the bed is a lot easier than shimming the cab at this point, so that's a good thing. So uh, we're going to go ahead and button this up, and hopefully we'll get some more progress done on this truck here, and we'll get you another video of that. But wanted to show you that we, you know, it's not too hard to get a body set on in a day, so. You know, if you're ambitious enough and you have the means to do it, you know, hey, by all means, you can do it. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.